Epic Gaming 100 Thieves going at it here for our final series on the main stage of the night. I'm your host, Katie Bedford, joined by Nameless Study and Pac-Man on the desk. Before we get into things, Nameless, this is a rematch from Winner's Bracket we saw in London. Do you feel like there may be a different outcome this time? Uh, I think there possibly could be. Optic looks absolutely incredible, but 100 Thieves look incredible as well. So these teams, they've went toe-to-toe -to -toe multiple times, and each time they they both, you know, it's a slugfest, right? Like, you never know who's going to come out on top when these guys match up. They're the two best teams in the game. So looking at this match, I guess I would probably lean towards 100 Thieves still, but, you know, it's still a toss-up. I think I'm definitely going to go Optic in this series. We're talking about number one and number two KD going into today, and then including Skump with a 1.24 KD. The team is just clicking on all cylinders. We see the potential out of this team. That 0-2 comeback versus FaZe earlier was that match that really put them over the top for me in this series. Just the momentum that they had in that match is going to be able to push them through this series. I really think it's going to come down to that control, just like we saw in London. Both these teams have such strengths, and Optics, or 100 of these best s and is Optic strength. They can't pick it. So I expect Optic to take those, but if they can't win a respawn against 100 Thieves like they did last time, then it's going to go to 100 Thieves' way. This is just going to be a banger. All right, we also asked Twitter using the hashtag CWLPS4 who they think is going to come out on top. And from Vital, Optic 100%, everyone on the team is stepping up when it matters, and their hard point is only getting better and better. Expecting a 3 1 tonight. I mean, right. if you think about it, at the last tournament, Optic was one map away from potentially getting to that final. Like, if in that control, if Karma wins that 1v1 versus Kenny, or right. if he decides to commit through Vent, they win that control. And this is a completely different discussion that we're having right now. So it can very well be. A three one in favor of I don't think 100 Thieves has lost a hard point this weekend. That's, no, a, that's a tall task. All right, we got from Brad Optic Gaming in a 3 2 fashion. That reverse sweep is going to give them the fire they need. Bearded TJ is frying. He yes, certainly he is. is. He's just, I guess, getting older. <laughs> Growing some face for him. <laughs> Actually, let's take a look at the man himself. DJ! Look at him, look at that mustache. Look at, look at this guy. <laughs> He's intense. <laughs> Kidding me? <laughs> All right, we got a final three for you. And that is from Jason Easily, the fans. Rematch should happen in the grand finals as well. All right, we got two optics sure. in the fans. I, I like mean, in, in this series, I think they have to end it in three or four just because. Yo, get loud! Get loud! We got yeah. Optic Honey D! There you go. Get loud! There you go. All right, the fans are going to win because this is going to be. Did you see that sign? It said Octane still loves Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't hate Nickelback. There's nothing wrong with Nickelback. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> All right, we all do want to talk to you, of course, about one of our key player matchups for this series. And for that, we have to focus again. We just talked about TJ, but we also need to talk about Slasher on both of these teams. Looking so very strong for them. And Slasher, though, Pac-Man, has kind of been the stalwart, obviously, in game leader for 100 Thieves. So do you think, uh, in, in terms of them, that he might have an edge in a, in a matchup like this? We're going to bring up that graphic in a second when it's ready. Uh, versus TJ, I don't think that there's much yeah. edge anywhere in this series it, like at all. But Slasher's S and D. He's going to be the guy that needs to play call and push them over the edge if they're going to beat Optic in this series, in my opinion. And Slasher is that guy, that, that leader in game, that they're going to need if they're going to beat Optic. TJ, so far this tournament, has been the ice man. He really has. So, in terms of an edge, I'm not giving it to either one of them. This match, man, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, do you think any teams here, aside from these two, does anyone look stronger right now than these two teams? No. These are two, two strongest teams in the tournament right now. They've both been tested. And they've both been looking absolutely fantastic. And their history is there. Their storylines story are there. Players are stepping up. Crim6 had an incredible day one. TJ's had an incredible two days. I'm very excited for this. All right, it's ready to get started. Optic Gaming, 100 Thieves with Merck and Maven. Yes, here we go. This is the one we've been waiting for, buddy. We know they go 1-1. They split at London, but obviously it's 100 Thieves to get the final lap. They end up being our champions. But. They didn't talk much about the specific map pool within this best of five. I think there's a couple interesting narratives in this map pool. What really stands out for you in this matchup? Yeah, I mean, we're starting off with Ryuzi Hardpoint. Surprise, surprise, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Optic fan. And well, I mean, they're two and two. But I, I think what we saw from the phase series, they cannot start out that way. They have to bring the fire. A couple of wins, they go down 0-2. You go down 0-2 against 100 Thieves. You're losing. I don't think you can bounce back. So this map one, 
so important. Gridlock, Search, and Destroy, neither. They haven't matched up against each other yet, but a, a very strong map, I think. You know, Optics 1-1 one one throughout the last split. Well, neither have played it a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, it hasn't really been a go-to. 100 Thieves 2-1. Gridlock Control, that is actually one that 100 Thieves won. It was the pool play match That's right. Uh, that's on right. Friday. That is the one that Optic was able to win. We saw Arsenal, that was that round five. We're switching it on up, and then, well, as you go on, Hacienda, Hardpoint, undefeated for 100 Thieves. But we get to gridlock map five also. Oh, sorry, fun. the payload map five. Yeah, sorry, payload map five. Well, that's the one we've talked about a lot because that is where Optic beat them in Search and Destroy at London. They beat them on payload. And then you and I talked a lot about it back at the Pro League that 100 Thieves were going out of their way to play it every series. They played it like every map too. They played it four or five series in a row. They were clearly trying to improve in that. And you and I have been saying for days, like they're going to play payload. They have to play payload. And that is going to be the map five. So I'm hoping it goes the distance just to see what story we get out of that fifth map. But man, I, I don't know. For Optic, it's like if you take a look at the phase series, I saw the stats afterwards. Dashing dropped like a 1-4 plus. Everybody else hovering between like a 0.85 and a 0.98. You cannot have that statistical narrative for Optic if they're going to beat a team like 100 Thieves. It has got to be a balanced effort because day in and day out, that's what you're getting from the other side of the stage. They've all got to bring it. They've got to. And well, you see the fist bumps going across. Teep giving his, his team some love. Crowd around the other side. The map loading on up. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what Chris was saying. They were playing payload for this reason. I yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't and trust now, guy and now it's in the series. Yeah, no, sure, I don't trust sure, guy, Chris. Whatever. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. The match for top three in Anaheim. 100 Thieves, Optic Gaming. What more could you ask for? Here we go, map one. Frequency, hard point, kicking it off with Optic Gaming. Well, a great start for Optic. Slash the last one. That's going to be all dead, and Optic immediately going to push on up. But a very close spawn for Priesta up inside towards that window. But Karma wins, and Optic, I mean, they flip the spawns right away. This is exactly yeah. what they want. You couldn't ask for more. You get five down off the rip. You get spawns for next. Now can you hold and pick up even more time? Kenny comes through with two, but it's traded out quickly for Optic Gaming. But that, as the dust settles, it's 100 Thieves that can get set up inside, but still Optic enjoying those right side spawns. Karma with a nice start at four and one. It's Dashy at elbow. It's able to connect with the grenade and pick up the kill with the Maddox as well. We snap to mid max and it's Karma finding kills as well. And if they can keep this present mid-map with that number nine in the form of Scump, they're gonna be spawning the opposition deep out at that back elbow. And that's exactly what they were getting. And now we'll rotate to next. 11 point advantage for 100 Thieves. How can Optic Gaming deal with this first wave? Great positioning from Karma top window. So far, so good for Optic to make a run on the hard point. Yeah, and one of the keys when these guys played this, you know, time and time again, it's about those ARs, Krim and Octane. Octane just seems to play at a different level on frequency, and hard, frequency hard for it compared to other ICRs. It's well, Krim has had a monster game, and then we saw him have a dud in the next series versus phase. So he's been a bit up and down in this particular map. What Crim 6 are we going to get? It's a slow start from him at 2 and 5, Joe. Yeah, 3 go down, though, for Optic Gaming. Here comes the push. Scump, Crim able to find it, and that's exactly what you need. He's able to win the one on one again. Octane with 20 seconds left. 100 Thieves going to focus on that blue base, and Optic are, gonna, are going to push. Dashy's going to find a kill. Same with TJ. Watch that mini map. You'll see a bit of a split spawn right now for both teams. And Optic Gaming, they're going to push pipe side. A lot of pressure now on Enable and Kenny. We'll see if they can lock down the back of this base. Two versus three on the other side towards Elevator. Scump's going to find one, and here we go. Trade's going down. Enable. He has the saw. He'll get cleaned up. So perfect rotation for Optic Gaming. And this is one of those moments that could be huge in the scheme of this map one. You chain together orange into blue and a chance to take now a significant lead. The melee doesn't go through, and that's going to be three down for Optic Gaming. But thankfully, they'll have the safe spawn and Karma getting it done on balcony. He gets one and also feeds into a team kill. Unfortunately, though, for Optic, it's Octane that connects with two through the ICR. So they've done the hard part. They've gotten the balcony. They've gotten the contest because they turned it into time. But Optic, they want none of it. That's four down in a row. Spawning out is 100 Thieves. And Optic starting to run away with this first map. Yeah, 
Yeah, Scump, you're gonna find a couple of kills. You know, one of the big discussions that we've been having has been around the Maddox duo. Who's got the strongest one in the world? And right now, I'll tell you what, Karma, Dashy, both double positive, putting on a show. Enable really struggling right now, has to step it up. And it starts right here, a two and nine start from him. And, and I was piece. wondering, I was wondering who might come out a little bit slow, because I saw all of them sitting in the back, like trying to stay warm. But that last series just, it felt like it kept going and going and going. And I saw the guys, they were all pacing, chomping at the bit, wanting to get involved. But you get iced for a bit, and now you have to try and come out hot. The team that's had the slow starts on frequency has been Optic this this weekend. They've had two really slow starts. Not the case here, Joe. Well, I, I think the other big thing is, is as well is, if you're Optic Gaming, you've had some big tests this weekend. 100 Thieves has it. Yeah, no, not at all. Game five, but that's it. I, I mean, Optic had to play FaZe, one of the best teams in the world. 100 Thieves really hasn't been challenged. This is that first test for them. Well, Octane right now, he's putting Optic Gaming to the test. Is that seven in a row out to 17 and nine? Scump, you better get the hell out of Dodge, because Octane coming through. Crim6 able to cut him down, but Octane does get some streaks to work with. He'll have the Lightning, he'll have the Hellstorm, some big tools to facilitate a comeback maybe deeper into this game. Karma's POV, now TAC5 still available on him, and he's got the Grav Slam to work with, but it's nearly a 60-point advantage. Optic still in control. Let's get right to an Ap Astro Gaming listen-in with Optic Gaming. One shot, one more time, time red liner, Yo, red liner, red liner. I am leaving. Red liner. Holding red. Right? Yo, there should be some Kenny's spin. elbow, blue elbow, or red elbow, red elbow. Yo, pop in pipes, Jeff, pop in. Yeah, yo, I spun pipes, I spun pipes. Is that Tom here? Yeah, three here, three here. They're all hitting it. Jam, watch out. They're all weak, they're all weak. Nice. Oh, we're, uh, we're in the red plat, red plat. Let's get red plat. Yeah, hold, hold, hold. yeah I'm, everyone, I'm, everyone I'm, push through, everyone push through. Get to Albie. I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching it. Yo, Tom in. Hold on, Teach, hold on, Teach. Every time in, they're war. Yo, 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 war, war, guys, war, guys. They do have streaks. Yeah, they're they in war. Streaks. They're getting pipes, they're getting pipes, y'all. Yo, Tom in. I got one in the back, I got one in the back. Let's push back. One more in the back. Let's go. One shot in the back, one shot, one shot. Kenny's old, Kenny's old, last guy. I'm holding my spawn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm holding. Kenny, hold, Kenny, hold. Yo, yo, watch it. I have it, I have it. I have time, I Yo, free, free you, free Yo, you, free 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 you, for the green wall. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we talked about it. His team felt like it. they had to win frequency hardpoint if they wanted the tournament. And this is the first time we've seen them play at this level. TJ, now he's going to earn some streaks on a five streak. Make it six. Finds, oh, very close to number seven. But 100 Thieves, I, I mean, you just take a look. Yes, Octane's playing well, but nobody else is really contributing. Oh, Dashy's plus 21. I, I mean, during that listen, he couldn't finish his words. Like, he was so <laughs> He's twisted, right man. He is, he is absolutely, is absolutely <laughs> locked in right now. <laughs> well, Optic still have to close out this map one. Octane still has a lightning to use, but TJ with some tools of his own. He's gonna, it's gonna be Octane actually with the lightning strike. That's gonna connect on TJ and Karma. They're going to use this to now get into the hard point, but you still have Scump inside a window. Dashy's lightning comes into play as well. Advantage still sitting around 100 points for Optic. When is this run going to come from 100 Thieves? Can they make a big play? You hit the shot, you're going to get the chain, but he drops at the same time and no one there to clean it up. Yeah, I don't think he got the chain. I think that player actually dropped outside, so the players who pushed forward were fine. There was no chain. So the push is here. Enable Octane still trying to hang on. As Optic's about to hit that 200-point mark, Dashy though, continues 36 and 13 from him. The contest is here, and this favors Optic Gaming. Karma with the grab slam if he wants to use it. But once again, it's just Octane, and you feel like when you see him in the kill feed, he's finding multiple kills, and that's a good sign for 100 Thieves. Enable on a force free, starting to turn around. But is it too late? It's a problem when Dashy has more kills than the other Maddox duo combined. He is slaughtering 100 Thieves, and another streak comes in. This time, 400 Thieves. It's going to be an able that picks up, too. Dashy, though, up to 39 and 14, about to eclipse the 40 kill mark as they hit the 200 point mark. It's a ludicrous effort as Optic still hold on to this massive advantage, just working to close out this game. Slasher's War Machine does come into play. Can he pick up any more? It's Priesta that's actually able to do the dirty work in and around the hard point. Yeah, I think that was a huge play from Enable with that streak. The big thing is, I mean, Optic finally get control. They were going to put him away, but Enable has the streaks, has the extra utility. 
to keep this game alive right now. Well, 15 seconds left at Pipes. Optic's gonna push it, but you see on the minimap, Hunter Thieves setting up for Elevator, taking a look at top right. You have a lot of specialists coming in for Optic Gaming. Enable does have Purifier. You have Priest with the Grab Slam. But it's going to be so difficult, down 80 points, to deal with how many specialists Optic will have. Can they get the break? Will it be behind Karma's Grab Slam? There's the entry kill. Perhaps a grapple in. Will he even need it? Not able to get through as it's Priest that comes in on the flank. Karma gets a couple of kills, but not able to drop in the grab slam, at least for now. So 100 Thieves still desperately, desperately trying to hold on. There's the grab slam, goes up high. It's just Dashi that's gonna pay the Piper as he ends up falling. Not the specialist uses you would have liked. As 100 Thieves slowly, bit by bit, inch by inch, seem to be climbing back into this. Yeah, Purifier used by Enable. Gonna take down his teammate, but he connects <laughs> with a couple. There's no flat jacket on. Finally, TJ's gonna put it, but it's pretty weak. And now 100 Thieves, quietly have snuck back into this game. This is going to be a huge rotation. Enable's going to be the point man for 100 Thieves, but he's going to have three players to deal with. TJ, Hellstorm in, but Enable still has one. He encounter it, and that's what he's doing right away. Hellstorm from Enable. We'll see what he's able to find towards the back. His Octane finds two. That's three dead. 100 Thieves, they have the setup they want for this orange base. Here we go. TJ with some big openers, but it's still 100 Thieves inside of the hard point. Priesta will get traded out as Optic now trying to collapse and it's Dashi snapping onto anything, everything, as two will fall. Just need some help. They got to get into the hard point though. 100 Thieves, the comeback, you can feel it, you can sense it. Let's get right to an Astro Gaming listening with 100 Thieves. Okay, I'll come. Oh, oh, it is a 10 point game and this would be the potential break for 100 thieves but it's tj with the war machine he connects on three tempest out as well for dashy as he is 48 and 20 and the young bucks frying right now is that is five down from 100 thieves spawning out they can't get in, and Optic close it out. They got scary, Joe. They got scary, Joe. They did, and I was actually surprised when we went to that listen, and there was no talk about flat jacket, about the war machine. They weren't ready for it. That's why TJ was able to find those three kills. But Dashi, I'm taking a look at it right now. 8,700 damage. 8,700. What? 8, what? Oh, we're going to take a look at the scuff play of the game, and it's got to be the final moments. It's the duo of Dashi and TJ. War Machine, Tempest, combo to just shut down the final two pushes from 100 Thieves to prevent what's a, what was about to be a 100-point comeback. They hold on. Yeah, they do, and I, I mean, yeah, just what a performance. Just that early lead. I will say, though, 100 Thieves, they woke up about midway through. And you lose by 30 with Priest at 19 and 33. <laughs> Kenny and Slasher having a slow game. Enable was actually the catalyst mid-game for them. He finds those streaks. That got them right back into the game. Is that map from Dashi one of the more ludicrous hardpoint performances you've seen considering the matchup it's in? Uh, I mean, how do you say no? <laughs> 8,700? There are some people that don't get that in three hard points. What is that? We'll take a look at the box score from that map one. Blue Hall dominated by Optic. They got a 50 point advantage there, but 49 kills for a 2.33 KD from Dashi. My God. And then on the other side, it was Octane who really stepped up. I, I mean, we talked about his impact on frequency with an ICR. Other teams try to mimic it and they just can't. The guy always putting down the numbers. But now, I mean, the big discussion, right, for 100 Thieves in London, 
You struggled in Search and Destroy. Your focus was to get better at it. You do not want to go down 0-2 in this series. And, and I think what's interesting is we know how good Optic has been on payload if it goes back five. They're seven and one in that final split. That is where Hunter Thieves put in the work, because we saw them play it a lot, but they don't get there till I'm at five. Yep. So they are going to need to come out and potentially take this search and destroy, but wow, what a map one that was. And well, I believe we got some uh, special guests in the crowd. I believe Ocho Cinco's out there, Chad Johnson, enjoying the the Anaheim event. Yeah, I, I saw him earlier. I got to meet him for a second, and I, I wanted him and Krim to race at a 40. Krim was like, I'm deceptively fast. Like, I don't know about that, but no, it's awesome to see Ocho Cinco in attendance. Hope you're enjoying the matches, because it is, uh, God, it's been an entertaining day thus far, where day one, maybe not filled with a lot of gut-wrenching matches. Five game series, upsets and surprises today has been thrilling. Man, I, I, I know this was a great map one for Optic, but to only win that by 30 points with Dashi doing that, like, whew. I, I was just told the 49 kills yep. is a hard point record that Dashi just dropped. So I, I think uh, that answers the question that I asked you earlier, if that is maybe the most ridiculous performance you've seen. Well, statistically, yes, Joe, it is. Yeah, no, I couldn't say no to that. <laughs> Gridlock, search, up next. But yes, this is the big test. 400 Thieves, can they answer back? Optic on the defensive end first. It's a big A hit coming in from 100 Thieves as they push in, take control of showers. Optic going to back it on up, play the retake. And now watch that number five, the Lone Man Slasher watching the flank, just trying to get that information. And they, or sorry, Optic Gaming. Looks like they're going to push top middle, and he's going to spot that. Now he's going to back on away. Five versus five retake situation. We'll see which teams, who's going to go on first. You have a 3-2 split here from Optic, and it looks like 100 Thieves are going to stack one side. They're going to make you a five versus three. They're going to push this out. I love this play. They're going to find the kills that they want, and because Karma and TJ just took so long, it's now a five versus three. And that is beautiful. You know you have the numbers. You take the push, and you go perfect. You knock down three. Now TJ left all by his lonesome, able to get two, but surely too much in front of him. Finally, Kenny able to take him down, but we've seen other Thieves do that on this map. They're very good at finding the information, knowing where they're able to isolate the numbers. And honestly, whether which side they picked, they had a 5v3 on one end, 5 on 2 on the other, but the fact that they don't lose a player well, in that Well, that's push, the thing, right? You push that out, great, but if Optic's ready for that, right, running through two doorways, that's where it can get scary, but it was clean. Well, that'll be interesting that this happens again. Like, if they get that plant down today again, how does Optic maybe try the retake? Do they try a five-man hit from one side? Do they try and do that pincher attack again after what just happened to him in that opening round? But fantastic execution after the plant from 100 Thieves. I mean, we're going to have a very similar scenario this round again. Kenny playing for information, just going to back away. Another five versus five retake. Kenny's got a frag, and 100 Thieves is playing this a little bit differently. They're going to five hit it from one side. TJ gets a little bit weak, nades on both ends. It's going to be an EMP coming in from Optic, but there's a first blood for Kenny. Kenny's going to find the second as well. Kenny, I thought, was going to get three for a second, but he finally will drop. Slasher, though, able to combo it. Him and Priest to close out the round, and that is a clean, clean retake from 100 Thieves. They'll go up 2-0. Hey, and I think when we watched 100 Thieves at Pro League, the point man for them was, at times, Kenny. Right, like, he would just run around on payload, hit mid-tunnel, find the openings, find two kills, and you see that right here in this round. A great play for him. And he needs to bounce back, because I think Dashy yeah. just turned him inside out map one. Like, well, they got the absolutely team. fried. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But I think Kenny specifically is going to take that one to heart, being in the Maddox role and how much he's improved throughout the course of this game. Trying to make a statement in the search and destroy, but what a, what a year he has had from all the turmoil, the team change, the flack from the community. He has bounced back in a big way, and Hunter Thieves looking for back-to-back -back major wins. But they've got to get through Optic Gaming first, and they're down one in the series, but so far, so good in the search and destroy. Yeah, but yeah more of the same. Yeah, I mean, who would have believed it? But we'll see how does Optic exactly. Gaming play this differently. What adjustments are you going to They, they go for a five-man hit. That's exactly what I thought they might do. This time, Hope they try to isolate you on that end and just bully your way on in. This time they play behind us. Brings the mic and stuff, but Octane finds two. 
Kenny finds two. It's a four versus one in a hundred thieves right now. They are rolling in search of this. It just does not matter what Optic are throwing at him. They are getting crushed. Kenny and Octane come through with four of the five. I got a little worried when Priesta got full stun, right? We hopped on his point of view. His he teammates has looked over jacket, him. Teammates looked over him. Yeah, I'd love Octane to, to watch over me with that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Makes your job a little bit easier. But that's going to be one, I think, four or five kills in a row for Kenny. So we'll see what his streak progression looks like as we get back into it. Oh, sorry. I guess he ends up dropping. So he's still got a ways to go. I thought he had a bit of a streak. Hey, uh, Clint, I think we're going to have more of the same here. Right one, back day. One big difference maker. Watch that number 10, Karma. Going to maybe play a late flank here as the bomb's being planted. And there he goes. So bomb down. Optic going to play a little bit more aggressive. But keep your eyes out on that late flank. Karma has to be the playmaker. Will it be too late? 100 Thieves going to push the five versus four, and they're going to go. Cluster in. Dashie's going to find the first blood. That's going to weaken up Kenny. 4v4, but here's Karma. Took his time, finds the flank. Is he going to find a kill, though? Is he going to find one able to snap on? Krim finds two as well. 1v4, and the adjustment works. Karma finds two. As much as Karma was big, I think Dashie getting that first kill and not, not getting two piece by Kenny on the first wave likely what allows Karma to get there in the first place. And Kenny gets slowed up from what a frag or a cluster that kind of delays yeah, him for a moment. TJ, yep. But they desperately needed that round and they're able to get it done. First round on the board, but you're seeing the adjustments coming in from Optic. And do you make adjustments if you're 100 Thieves, right? Do you go right back to A? But it looks like maybe a, a bit of a slow round from them. It looks like they're going to play a very slow default. You're going to have sl Slasher watching A. Octane sniping over this B side. There's three players there. Setting up a bit of a trap as you have one guy inside of Ice Cream, two behind that truck. But I think what 100 Thieves is probably thinking at this time, they're going to throw a curveball at us, right? They're going to try to rush. Dash you with the snipe as well. But 100 Thieves, they're split. They are so far split. All of Optic are here. It's a three versus five on the site. They have to be careful. And 100 Thieves, they're going to get away. They're going to back it out because you can see all the information that the other end got. Slasher and Kenny pushed up. They know nobody's home today. So here's going to come the wrap. Can they get this bomb plant cleanly? Krim and TJ hitting top street. You have Karma top middle. So far, no success for Optic on these retake situations. And can this time, can they get it done? Here comes the flank. TJ not able to find the kill. Priesta, though, tries to challenge him. Now it's a three versus four. Karma finds another one. Krim with two on this round. And it's just up to Kenny. He gets taken down, but it starts with Priesta. Losing that gunfight to TJ. We've seen the adjustment from Optic on offense. We've now seen the adjustment on defense, and they've gotten round wins out of it. I mean, I, I don't think you, you really hate what just happened for 100 Thieves. You just lose the gunfight. I, I think you get all the information. It's a clean plant. You, you get the spread that you want. I, it starts with Priest. If he wins the one-on-one -on -one against TJ, it's a much different round. It looked like he was going to catch him with the slide, too. Yeah. I think, think he whiffed some shots. And TJ shuts him down. We'll see the best play from Crim6, picking up Octane on the trade, a huge one of that as Octane's trying to get back behind the wall. Reads enable like a book in towels. Chains together too. Crim6 so crucial to this team. You saw the young talent on display in that map one, but the guy that's going to keep them together, the leader, Crim6. All right, here comes the adjustment from 100 Thieves. Four top middle slasher. Playing information for A. Karma, though, he's top overpass. He's going to get caught. Kenny again, that point man. Oh, Scump can't finish the kill. He gets away to the corner. They're going to push him out. They don't check the corner. And somehow this turns into kills for Optic Gaming. Now going to be a two versus two. Octane and Slasher versus TJ and Scump. You could see Octane and Slasher. This pretty split right TJ? now. Yeah, I don't know if he saw him. I don't know if he saw him. TJ almost catches Octane. Slasher's coming. Slasher's coming. Will he get there in time? He doesn't need to as Octane makes the play. It's now going to be on Scump to try and clutch. They're both in front. Gets away in the bottom. Broken. Does so much damage, but another kill that he just that can't finish. And he can't get away. Slasher hunts him down. I don't know how Octane got that kill, but he got two big ones. One on the flight to make it a two versus two. Then his ability to stay alive. But the confidence from Kenny. 
Able to spot Karma, and then they just go right after this. Able to find the first two kills in the round for 100 Thieves. Well, I thought the round was going to end here, but then somehow Optic well, might well, come out of the numbers. Grim was playing towards that B Street, right? So they didn't think he was in that area. There was a bit of a pinch set up. And Priest, I think, was just ran right by Scump in the corner. Like, he just looked awkward, but gave Optic a chance. 100 Thieves, though, now with two rounds of separation, leading 4-2, and they're going right back to their A strat. Dashy's going to be here with this snipe. Can he get a pick before he tries to get out with his life? Gotta be a little oh, bit the timing yeah. of that. Maybe had a chance. I say, though, he had to be a little bit careful because the pressure was up towards those shower sides. Bomb being planted. This has been the game all game long. Nades, though, in hands for both teams. Stun out. TJ gets caught. Kenny with a nade. It's a five versus three, and 100 Thieves is going to go. Kenny with two. Octane with another one. It's all on a Dashy with the pistol. One versus four. Good luck. 30 seconds to go, and they're just holding. They know the shots he can hit. They're patient with it. Dashy peaks, Dashy's damaged, legs one, but not enough. As Octane gets him their fifth round on the board and a round away from evening this series at one apiece. And it was really just that hard, that hot start, that 3-0. I mean, 100 Thieves looked so comfortable in this bomb site right now. You think maybe all the time they've been putting into search has helped. They said they've been grinding, whether it's been wagers, yeah, playing we, we top didn't see the league. The only thing we saw was payload true, in the league. True. But so. we, we didn't see all the other matches they were playing off no, stream. Yeah. Like everything we've heard from Octane, from Slasher, they've been putting in the time and search. It looks like it's showing here. Kenny 11 in five after a rough game one. What a performance. But Dashi, there's the first blood, able to hit the snipe, open up the B site. But Priesta brings it to a four versus four yeah, maybe as a he's misplay. playing an ice cream. Maybe a misplay right there by Karma. And then Enable's just going to fly out. That pull could be so annoying, but he still gets the kill. Able to, to refocus that shot. Two versus three. Is Slasher found one? Can he? Oh! What in the hell? How does he even hit that? I don't know. It's not a kill, but still impressive. <laughs> Two v three now for Optic. And there we go. They group on up. Just trying to play their numbers, but TJ's behind him. What TJ's a timing. Behind him. What TJ. a timing. Oh, enable. enable. What a snap back to make sure he gets the trade. Now on Dashy. This is where you earn your money. Can you bring home the 1v2 and extend this map to? He's got a frag grenade to work with. He found a Maddox to use as well. He'll get this planted. Can he clutch against Enable and Slasher? Well, I guess uh, the one player you would probably want in this situation for 100 Thieves is Slasher. He's so good at reading these small round situations, and immediately he's going to get on that bomb. It's on a name. They line up! They line up with Dashi with the 1v2! And I'll tell you what, I'm actually surprised it's Slasher who gets on this bomb here and not Enable. If I'm Slasher, I'm saying, hey, Ian, get on this bomb. I'll watch over you. And they just try to get the defuse in, and it doesn't pay off. Game two still alive for Optic. 5-3 lead now for 100 Thieves. Whew. Is that the round? That shapes this search and destroy. Well, here's the adjustments. It's a five stack from Optic. They finally go for it. Nade in. Nade in does some damage, and Scump's able to get the first blood, but what a great stun yet again. Dashy trying to stay up. Does he have some help over Kenny the top? Again. His teammates falling apart. Kenny with the play. Priest the combos two. Crim6 left alone, and Crim6 drops. 100 Thieves take it. Tied up. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Kenny gets three that round. I think that's 14 for the map for him. But that bomb site was all 100 Thieves just continuously going at it time and time again. It doesn't matter if you five stack it, you allow them to plant. Kenny 17 EKIA, 2400 damage. We're seeing superstars step up big time on this stage. Game one, it's Dashy. Game two, it's Kenny. Unreal performances. And those are the two players last year that were in our Rookie of the Year conversation, right? Like, they were so, so good last year. What a win from 100 Thieves. So much talk about the Search and Destroy and what improvements they would make. They now take down a very strong Search and Destroy team in that game, too. But still, 
All that matters is that payload if we get there. That's the one I know you and I have personally been very excited about. Well, I mean, you look at London when they split series one to one, really what it comes down to is the control. Game three, I think Pac-Man sure. touched on it on the desk. That game three decided the series in both of them. And well, it tied up at one, we're going to a gridlock control. It's one that Optic Gaming was able to win in London. But 100 Thieves very strong on this map. And we showed the stat for Optic, I think earlier today versus FaZe. Like, at the Pro League, they haven't been that great, like below a 50% in control. But here, at the major tournaments, it's when they've like got to turn up 5% win they're ratio. They're absolutely, absolutely not. So with how big it is, you wonder if that control is going to decide who takes your series. But during the intermission, before the map three, we've got Blaze on the floor. I think he's giving away T-shirts. Yes, I am giving away T-shirts. Merc and Maven, my 100 Thieves fans in the house, let me hear you. My Green Wall fans in the house, let me hear you. Oh, which side of the stage is the loudest? Let me hear it on the left. Let me hear it on the right. They got y'all over there. We got t-shirts. Who won't want in the back? Keep your head up. Woo! Deep back there. Optic fans, where you at in the house? 100 Thieves fans over here, where you at? Oh man, you guys have been awesome all weekend long. Once again, we got map number three coming up. It's Control, Old Grillock. Give it up one more time. Back to you guys, maybe the Merc. Thank you, Blaze. Well, T-shirts out for the venue. Packed with Optic fans, 100 Thieves fans, the rivalry that has been building. It's interesting because like it, it feels like it took half the year till they even played on land because Optic start the year hot. Then finally 100 Thieves after the slow start start to show that they're a championship caliber team. And now it looks like they're the two Titans going up against each other here in Anaheim. A refresher of how our best of five is kicked off. We've had some tight rounds, some back and forth respawn. But this gridlock control, Joe, you feel like the winner of this wins the series. Uh, I mean, that was the, the narrative last event. I mean, I, I don't know, I would love to see a game five, right? I mean, yeah, what is game four, Hacienda, we know how good 100 Thieves has been, but yeah, we're gonna take a look at those stats for Optic Gaming on control. 20 and four, 83% win rate control at open events. That's absurd. Uh, yeah, we talked about it in their first series against phase. It just feels like at open events, they bring the intensity, they bring this, the communication. This is our fourth major. They've only lost four times. Like, that is just a ridiculous, ridiculous stat. But if somebody could hand them a loss, we know it could be 100 Thieves. This is just fun, man. I know, I know for us, if we got to cast the full play match in London, and like yeah. right after that, you and I were like, all right, well, these are the two best teams here. Like, it just, you could just see it, man. Like, the talent across both sides of the stage just stacked top to bottom. You've got the best young talent in the world, the greatest veterans in the world. Like, well, I think the big question moving on in this series, I think so far for 100 Thieves, you get Octane, you get Kenny. They've stepped up. They've really been two of the, the crucial parts for this team on the other side. Dashy, TJ, they've been doing it all weekend long, but who's gonna be the third piece? Who's gonna be the third guy now? That could be the difference maker. Is someone else gonna step on up if someone has a slow map? And how important that could be in the control. But a reminder to you guys, we've talked about it a bit this weekend, but the next major event is Miami. We're headed to the beach. Tickets available now at MLG.com slash CWL Finals. But for those of you that have followed the Pro League throughout the course of the year, this is the big conclusion to that Pro League. Yes, we still have champs in LA later on, but this is a massive one. Tons of money on the line, and I'll take a little trip down to Miami. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic Yeah, make sure to bring the sunscreen, but I don't want you to, to burn your head. Yeah, you know, I haven't really been in the sun much since I've gone bald. I got to wear a hat or something. The Pac-Man's got one. You look good on you. <laughs> All right, we are even at one apiece. What a series it has been thus far. Now the swing game, Look, looking, fighting for the 2-1 edge. Well, and I remember when we watched this, one of the big narratives was the way Optic held A, right? Just time and time again on their defensive sides. 100 Thieves would think, oh, they gave it up, and then someone would sneak on the flank. But it's going to be 100 Thieves starting on defense. Priest to Kenny headed towards this A zone. 
You have one player working top middle. That's going to be Karma. He's going to have a couple of free kills, you would think. And after Frieza goes down, that should be the A site. You can already see 100 Thieves. They're pushing up the B Street, getting set up to try to trap them inside of it. And that is, yeah, that, you nailed it. Easy kills for Karma as he pushes through a hole in the wall and finds two. And that will be a very, very quick A capture. But that's the easy part. Now the hard part, progressing towards that B site. Let's see how they want to do it. Karma continues the hot streak. That's three in a row for him. Tags up the fourth in the back, and he wants to fly the grapple play to get an angle in the back. Almost takes another one-on-one, -on -one, but it's Priesta with the two-piece and a team kill on the side of Optic Gaming. But Dashi with this ICR doing some damage to the opposition as well. We have an able inside of Broken. Shump's going to take care of him. Dashi's still alive, but Octane wins that one-on-one. -on -one. So the pressure's here. It's Kenny and Priesta again, that sort of aggressive duo that we've been touching on. Nice stun out of Skump. Is he going to find a kill? No, it's Priesta with two. Priesta almost finds a third. There's the trade from Kenny. So, 100 Thieves, they do a good job keeping map position, but still a lot of time on the clock, 23 versus 23. Karma with four Krim. on the side Krim. of Optic. Krim's behind him right now. Priesta. Krim four for 100 play. Thieves, but Krim, yes, with a chance to now make a play as he pushes through. Priest is still holding inside a post, but that's going to be three down for 100 Thieves. They've got to be able to pick up Krim six in the back as he gets set up oh, inside Kenny of 18. Kenny with two, though, at the top, so there's no help for Krim. Kenny does such a good job finding two kills, keeping that position locked down. Hunter Thieves now with three life advantage. As they keep protecting this B site, Kenny's going to come in through ice cream. There's a freebie, a second as well. Snaps back to mid three in a row for Kenny as he picks apart the Optic Gaming lineup and gives them some breathing room for a moment. That's allowed Slasher to now move up all the way towards that back alley. TJ for Optic going to have to win a couple of one on ones if he's going to continue to progress towards the site from the backside. But now down seven lies is Optic Gaming, and they haven't even really sniffed this B objective. No, I mean, here's the thing. You've, you've had a couple of players work the flank in Krim and TJ, but the thing is, when you work this pinch, you have to have top street control. You have to be able to spawn them out in that deep corner. You have to get bust off, and that just hasn't happened. So you have a five life advantage, make it six. Nice shots out of Enable with the ICR. Karma tries to flank, but this has just been shut down. That's a clean white five dead. And a nice first round for 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves on the board first. Optic will see if their next offensive round, they can come up with something new, maybe an opening B hit or some sort of different shift in format and style to try and get aggression towards. But of course, the best play is going to be Kenny. Two easy ones, reads the mid-map push as well and lines up Karma. Just a great play to really thwart any kind of chance to get forward momentum for Optic Gaming. Because the first piece is getting that truck control, getting broken control. They were never really able to get in a sweet spot there. You know, we, we talk about those players that either either hate to play Optic, you love to play it. Kenny, Kenny loves to play Optic game, and you saw that smirk on his face. So Hunter Thieves are going to go towards this A side. TJ and Dashi are here. But we always talk about the ICRs and the amount that 100 Thieves can use as they find those first couple of kills. And you saw the no recoil on Slasher's side certainly helped him with that fight. As he took the first one, and 100 Thieves. Opt to try and push up the back as they leave well, one or two players Optic. towards this the site. They like to do. They like to go and try to retake this. Kenny and Octane, though, they were ready for it. They found the two kills. This should be zone A. And Kenny can get very close to streaks behind that. He's going to be like 45, 50 points lighting. off of streaks. Oh, he actually, yeah, he already gets the lightning. So one through. We'll see if he can get the Hellstorm as well. There's the Hellstorm. Hunter Thieves now looking for the opening. They got the point. That's three in a row. That's an opening to start pushing forward towards the back two player there. TJ going to drop as well. But TJ gets off a god cluster before he falls to at least slow down this forward momentum from Hunter Thieves for a moment. Now it's really just Kenny trying to play the picks on the backside as four players push up. The grapple's going to come in for Priesta. He goes over the top. He's going to take down Krim. This is going to get very scary for Optic Gaming early. I mean, we talked about Kenny, but Octane actually able to get streaks as well from all those points. He finds a kill. You have Priesta inside the 18. It's it just the momentum from A to B right now for 100 Thieves. They've just been able to Jeez. run with it. They line up. Enable finds two. Priesta with another one. He, this B zone, they're going to stack it. This is going to go quick. That was like an incidental headshot that he just got there. Makes it so easy to have got all the control in the world. And that 
It's wow. a 2-0 edge to 100 Thieves as they make the offense look easy. But how good was it from A to B for them? Kenny stayed alive for so long, found multiple kills. On the other side of the map, it was Octane. They got control of Broken. When they were able to do that, that split push develops. They used the lightning strike. They put Optic in such a tough spot. And yeah, I, I mean, just everything right now going the way of 100 Thieves. Impressive stuff on both sides of the control. We'll see if Optic can battle back now on offense to extend this map, but it didn't look good for them. They really never had a good chance, a clear-cut opportunity towards B. That's why I'm wondering if maybe we see some aggression there early, but a chance to get even more streaks. Tack 5 in, 160 off is enabled. You have three streaks to use. How do you win this if you're Optic? You've got to get them to burn streaks early and often. Yeah, it's going to have to be a couple of misplays from 100 Thieves. Optic, they go for a bit of a split push. They send two towards the A side, three towards B. TJ does find a couple of kills. He's able to find another one. This is one. huge. This is huge. TJ keeping them honest towards B, and now they're going to group up on it. This is a difficult site for them in the first place. You might get some streaks out of 100 Thieves yeah, Karma very, gets very early. He goes. Karma gets off A, able to find one inside of post. TJ locking down 18. That's progress at B made. TJ still alive on a five spree. Now you're talking about maybe streaks right, for they're, TJ. They're going to get it. Look how far out you spawn them. You yeah, spawn them all the way towards A. This is exactly what you needed. This was the thorn in your side in the first offense. You get it done with the quickness. You avoid any kind of streaks. Nothing's even been called in yet from 100 Thieves because they just get smoked. And now a chance to get streaks for Optic, as you can see at the bottom right. Karma just a kill away. TJ in the same conversation as he's awfully close as well. It's like you can see the comeback building if they can get an easy win here in the round three and get the streaks to use as well. Yeah, you still have a lot of streaks though on the side of 100 Thieves. Yeah, there's, there's a ton. <laughs> Whole map might be blowing you up here soon. <laughs> An eight kill lead right now. No Kenny streaks for TJ. You know, I would, was talking about who's going to be that number three guy and right now for 100 Thieves it's Priesta 14 and 10, but Karma on the flank. Able to find Enable. I, I think with 90 seconds, you can play around kills. You don't have to focus on the site too much. They're at least able to get one streak before Karma drops. But it's getting close to desperation time for Optic Gaming. But they've got the big life advantage. Octane, though, yeah, and he hit a big this. chain with the Tempest. He calls it in. Nice shot on the dashy. One on the other side as well. Almost able to hit the flick. Not able to do it, and Crimsic shuts him down. That's two from the ICR. Three in total for Optic Gaming. Make it four. Kenny, last one here to make a play, and Optic now into the site, but it's moving slowly. Is Krim going to be the only one there? But it's halfway to a round win for Optic. Freestyle, not able to... Ah! Sometimes that Maddox gets away from you. Enable on the plate, but it has to be perfect from now on for 100 Thieves. They're able to clear the point, but it's 11 versus 5. We'll see what they invest in. What are they going to use, if anything? I mean, you have a couple of streaks. Maybe why not try taking a swing with a Hellstorm? Maybe a Lightning Strike. Karma's going to use his Lightning Strike. They know they have to win it. They're not going to connect with anything. The nades are here from 100 Thieves, but they find oh, one no. kill. It's a seven versus four. Oh, no. They got to regroup if you're Optic. You just have to group up. It was a 5v11 for 100 Thieves. Attack five in. Is attack five enough? for Optic to get in. Yeah, this Slasher's is the push. Here we go. They're going to call it. They're going to call it a Lightning. Octane calls it in. Does it connect with it? No, the Priest comes in with a half slam. They're going 2v3. for it. 2v3. 2v3. Octane and Priest are looking for the clutch. Priest able to get away with you the life. Light. You have the Hellstorm. Do you use the Hellstorm here if you're Octane? He's just going to back away. 20 seconds now on the clock. Octane and Priest up against three of Optic Gaming. The Contest comes in. Karma, do you have to maybe use the grab? They're able to eliminate Priesta. Octane now left by himself. The flank comes in. TJ gets both. The Lord Almighty, that gets scary for Optic. Yeah, that was a hell of a hold by 100 Thieves. They do use one streak. They use a grab slam. They use a Tempest. So a, a lot used. But the big play, I think there was one player inside of Closet. I think it was Slasher. He just gets full stun. You know, he, he has flat jacket on, so he's stunned in there for a while. That gives them that four versus seven, the numbers advantage for the rest of the game. So how many did they call in? Just one of the just streaks, one. right? Just yeah. one. And they look so good on but, offense. And, and you know how, yeah, but you know how tough streaks can be on offense. You, yeah. It's very difficult to find a lot with streaks on gridlock. You're feeling around five? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, 
Nice shots from TJ to open it up. Put the numbers in 100 Thieves' favor at the site. They'll win that fight. And you still see on the top right three of those deadly streaks to use. Just can they use them efficiently? We've seen a bunch of streak blunders over the course of this weekend. Stump's gonna be going on the flank. Four players for, for 100 Thieves pushing up towards this backside. They're gonna trap him in here. Karma not able to finish one. Octane's gonna take him down, but here comes the rest of the team. Crim6, they're gonna stop the A pro progress, so. This is what we talked about. They always try to retake this. They do a good job right before that second tick they know comes Priest through. Is here. Now Priest actually snuck behind him. He's gonna find one. Can't snap onto the second. Nice shots from Krim. But Scump, they continue to hold it A. And it looks like 100 Thieves with 60 seconds left. They're gonna say, screw it for now. We're spawning out towards back tree. We've gotta make a push over towards this B site. Now the troops from Optic Gaming gonna need to rally over. TJ and Dashy here, but it's a two-man hit from the front. Two men through mid-map as well. What do we have specialist wise? Slasher and enable. There's available. Karma has that grab slam for a panic situation. Alive's Kenny. basically square. I say Kenny able to find one, then gets pushed up to 18. So now this is the tough, tough part for 100 Thieves. But you have three streaks to work with. War Machine, Vision Pulse. On the other side, TJ's got his War Machine. Karma with the grab slam. Dashy very close. You know, we talked about Dashy map one. In this map right here, double negative. We'll see if he can turn it around, make a big play with the Tempest. Here we go. Ping in. This could just no be for information. Yet. Yep, just for info. Get those ICRs pushed up. Octane able to find the first. Here yeah, they go, here the they button. go, but the grab slam is there! Two gonna drop, Scump gets another. That push is gonna be thwarted by the specialist usage. All five are gonna drop. 400 thieves. Still tied up in the lives, though. That's true. That's true. And just about 70 seconds remaining. And you have no map pressure if you're opting. Dashy trying to work top mid, gonna get caught. Contested for now, so the clock will stop. Unable, Slasher, Kenny, they pop use, up in the kill feed, they get here. three. Does anything get called in as of now? Nothing going to get exhausted, but they're going to get done with their guns. You have the Vision Pulse to go ahead and use. Vision Pulse called in by Enable. What can they get behind that? Well, unfortunately, they're meeting the War Machine of TJ, the ICR of Krim6, and the Maddox of the three-time champ. As they shut down that push, and now 7v5, Optic can close it out here and get us to a fifth round. 40 seconds to go. This will be the final push. No respawns from 100 Thieves. I mean, this is it. Yeah, it's a seven versus five, but it really comes down to these first couple engagements. They could be the round difference maker. You have this setup that you want if you're Optic. No pressure towards Broken. Octane, he's going to beat the alley. Hellstorm in. Hellstorm in from Octane. Is he going to get caught, though? It looks like Optic's going to push on up. Can he find a kill? No, nope, but Kenny will with his Maddox. That's now. gonna be the sign to go. That's gonna be the sign to go. And Priest gets behind Dashy. Dashy not ready for it at 18. Here we go. Three lives remaining for 100 Thieves. 3v5, 11 seconds on the clock. Slasher gonna get backed up, but Kenny able to find another kill. Kenny traded out though. 2v4, 1v4. Slasher, the last man standing nowhere near the objective. There's the push. There's the round optic. Get us to a fifth and final round. What? But control this has been thus far. And, and I mean, for 100 Thieves, everything went well towards that bus stop area. You, you got the players you wanted behind them, but it was at the front that Karma, he was able to find the kills. And a big thing that we saw at the end was Slasher actually used his War Machine as well. So no War Machine going into round five. And what, one streak? You used the Vision Pulse, used a lot for 100 Thieves. You only have one streak left. Here we go. Taking a look at the top. Krim gonna get Vision Pulse this round. Dashy has the Tempest. Skump gonna get close to attack five. The big thing here is Optic on offense. They've got the hard part on a map like Gridlock. The offense they won, they got B early. Can they do it again? The kill feed lighten up gray. This 100 Thieves seem to be having the advantage, but when it's done, it's still really a 26 versus 26. Kenny, the man with that lightning strike, when is that going to come into play? A now progressing very quickly. 
100 Thieves, not the type of team that's going to throw any added lives at this. They're going to try and trap you in, try to make the play as you transition to the next site. I think one of the keys throughout this map has been because the way 100 Thieves plays around two ICRs, you have to put Dashi on a second ICR. And we typically don't see that. He's just so good with the Maddox. So maybe that's contributing to, to his slow start at, or a slow game at 15 and 23. There's two for Dashi though to try and get them out of that trap inside of three. And now they're grouping up towards Broken. Just under two minutes on the clock to get this done. Down two lives. If you're 100 Thieves, you have that one streak to maybe bail you out. Kenny close to the tack five, just one kill off, but that is four down for Optic, five down for Optic. Back to spawn they go, and now a chance for 100 Thieves to layer the map, and what a big life advantage they got in what seems to be the blink of an eye, Joe. Yeah, they're playing so aggressive on, around Broken, though. If they all go down here with no trades, it could get scary, but Octane is gonna find one, doesn't find the second, and Abel just trying to stay alive, able to do so. How many kills can he find? Snaps on the car, but that's number two. That's exactly what they needed from Enable, yeah. from Octane, now 19 to 12. Stagger them, stagger them, stagger them. They continue to split up the Optic Gaming push. Now just 12 live remaining, so you've got like two good chances to take this. With a minute on the clock, one player trying to move up through mid-map, one trying to hit through showers. That number four is going to be Karma that's trying to find an opening as he moves through the back. We've got him highlighted on the mini-map. But look at... Look at the progression for 100 Thieves towards Broken. Like, they've got so much control of that B Street. Vision Pulse in, though. Vision Pulse in for Krim. Karma's gonna find one. Scum's gonna find an able that's quickly traded in these trades right now. Just back and forth. They do not help off the game, yeah. but they finally get to this site. Plus, you still have the Lightning Strike if Kenny needs it. And there it goes. It's gonna call on in. It's gonna waste some time, allow 100 Thieves to regain control of Dojo. Six lives left for Optic. They've gotta do it here. No more respawns, they're chopped to bits. It's Slasher with three. The only thing that can stop him is an exploding core from his teammate, Scump in Krim. 2v11. Not a prayer in the world to pull this off. It's 100 Thieves. What a hold it has been. Krim will fall. Last man is Scump, 1v7, he will drop. Advantage, Thieves. It does come down to a round number five, and I don't think 100 Thieves will be happy about that. They'll go, be, go back and watch three and four, but it was such a perfect start. You got such an advantage with those streaks, with the specialists. You're sort of just able to, to really just deplete everything Optic has. So now I got an interesting stat for you. All right. There has not been a single team that has taken two hard points off of this Optic Gaming roster in a series. But we're going to Hacienda, where 100 Thieves is a perfect 4-0. Well, they're 4-0 this weekend. They are like 7-0 yeah. since the lead. This is one of their best maps. Taking a look at the scoreboard. I apologize. Yeah. I completely no, said it that was 100 Thieves, right? Yes, yeah, no one's taking two off 100 Thieves. I, the way you said it, I was like, all right. Taking a look. I'm making up stats as I go, John. Octane again, over 6,000 damage. You got 6,500 from TJ, but nobody really else stepping up for Optic. And I, I think it does come down to that map where Dashi has to have an ICR in his hands. That just, that does not, that does not bode well if you're Optic. Knowing that stat, that no one's taking two off him. Knowing they're 4-0 this weekend on Hacienda. This is their pick, their map. And they've got control of the series. How can Optic get this to a map five, Joe? Well, I, I think you need your other pieces to step up because you can't expect a, a 50 kill game out of Dash. <laughs> don't say. Right? So I, I mean when you when you talk about Hacienda, once again I focus on the ICRs. I, I, I look at Krim, I look at Karma, the veterans. If they can step up, we can go to a map number five. And that's what we've been wanting to see this payload. The rematch from London, all the time for 100 Thieves, all the wins for Optic. But we, we know oh, the way we get 100 there. Thieves loves to play this map. They just set up hills number number one and two so, so well, well. Well, to be fair, the one thing you and I have seen, and I'd say like two out of the three last times we've casted this, it's been very scrappy for them early, early. sloppy for them yep. early, and teams 
have a chance to maybe put them away early. But once you get to like the maybe second half of the second set of rotations, third set of rotations, yes, they really lock it down. A lot of times it's been one to two, right? They dominate the opening hard point third time through. They get a perfect hold at Garage. Suddenly they blow it wide open. Like we've had a 150-150 game. They went 250 to 150. Like they have absolutely dominated. I think the difference here, if they have a slow start like that, Optic may be a team that can bury them, that can put it away, that doesn't allow them to make that rally late in the game. So maybe just one thing, that's one vulnerability we've seen for 100 Thieves on this map, but the scary part is they always rally. Every time we've cast, they always rally. Yeah, they, they figure out what they need, they make the adjustments. But here we go, game number four. Loading on in. ICR is out on both sides. Who's going to win that break off? Who's going to have top halls control? Here we go. Map four, Optic playing for their lives to get into the top three. Now, this is a winner's bracket match, so nobody knocked out yet, but so crucial. You don't want to be in a spot where you have to win two best of fives in a grand final. Nobody into the hard point yet. Scump Shab trying to lock down that rock side of the map, but he'll get caught and Slasher will rotate into that position 400 Thieves. Now the battle for top halls going down. Unable trying to do his best, but he'll get traded nearly instantly to the kill feed. Now a bit green as Optic Gaming fight for control. They can finally get into the hard point and start to accrue some time. They've got the hard point, they've got rock control, but still a, a battle in rotation here as Scump falls. Yeah, the emphasis right now for 100 Thieves, try to hold on, but actually Kenny and Slasher get taken down, and Abel trying to back on up, but they'll get caught because the spawns are in for Optic. So you split the time, and you have the setup you want for Garage. And Dashi goes huge there. Dashi gets two kills at rock that get you set up beautifully. You get that line across mid-map. He'll get caught as he rotates back, but you've got Scump pushed up to that corner side water. You've got the backside control. You have a fantastic setup if you're Optic Gaming. You can't allow an early break. Two kills do come through for 100 Thieves, but TJ doing his best to answer, and it's Dashy doing the damage inside of the hard point, but there's still a three-man hit building towards Waterside. Dashy getting that information, Scump there to assist. Yeah, they're just trying to be annoying, jumping up and down right now. The contest is there, but it's three that go down for 100 Thieves, make it four, enable the last one up, and he's going to get cleaned up. Karma's going to run out of ammo. Somehow, Enable stays alive a little bit longer than what they wanted. Yeah, that will allow 100 Thieves to go at it one more time, but Optic Gaming, they hold for majority of the time exactly what they wanted, and TJ started to heat up. Nine and three from TJ, six and three from Dashy. Yep, the Young Bucks once again carrying the load in the hard point, and a big part of why there's a 50-point lead now for Optic Gaming as they battle to get this to a payload search and destroy. Slasher, though, with a pair. At fences, make it a trio. And that's three in a row. Now four in a row. All right, let's keep going, Slasher, as he continues to mow through Optic to get the early setup. And they try to answer that stellar garage hold from Optic Gaming. Yeah, one player does get through. That's Dashy working up out of fences. Karma, he's going to go high with that grapple. So there's going to be that fifth kill in a row for Slasher. Now you're thinking streaks in the back of your mind if you're him. Can work this time if you can find a couple of kills. Has to be careful. That's Krim with an ICR scump. He's able to find two. The pressure is here from Optic. I don't know if Slasher is going to be able to find a kill. He does find his teammate TJ and lines him up though. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't use your teammate's skull to get streaks. Is uh, <laughs> the stretch will in there for Slasher and Optic will get into the hard point to pick up this scrap time. That'll force the rotation over to Rock on the top side of the minimap. 400 thieves as they don't have time to throw anything else at this. Optic have had a pretty comfortable lead throughout this, but not too comfortable. In one strong hold from 100 Thieves, and they're back into this. Yeah, I mean, Optic, give me though, they hit that scrap time, right? So 100 Thieves have a chance now to set up towards Rocky. You do have a bit of a pinch. Octane's going to find Dashy in the water. It's TJ on the other side. The pressure, though, coming from top halls. Kenny's able to find one, finds the second, finds a third, finds four. Kenny, four in a row. Actually, five. Now he's 235 off streak. Oh, that's a, that's a stretch there from Kenny. What a play at Rock. You saw Slasher's individual moment over towards Fences. Now at the opening of this hard point, it's Kenny. And that's going to give them some freedom to pick up some time. Kenny now just playing for these streak. 205 off, one bullet in, but can't finish the kill. He feeds it over to Enable, though. I thought he would get damage in enough to I mean, get some extra heal. points, but yeah, like the full heal comes in, doesn't get any more. There he's able to finish up one, though. Now 65 off the lightning strike. Can he get 
these streaks as it's all but a tie game right now. 93-89. Narrow margin for Optic, but let's get into our second set of rotations and how do 100 Thieves try to break? Karma almost comes in and picks him. He hits him to what, like 10 HP? But somehow Kenny stays up as we stay on with his story to see if he can continue to lock down Rock and get streaks for his team. That's ah, a one-on-one. -on -one. He once again snaps away from that dashy. It's a scary one. He's got his bait in front. He slides on through, but it's Scum able to shut him down. No streaks for 100 Thieves. And you just got to think, right? When you're playing your life for that long, that slows things down for your team. Puts your team in, in a bit of a rough spot. I would say, though, they've done a good job keeping Optic off the hill. The lead, though, still about 15 for Optic. They did a wonderful job around Draj. The first rotation, they're getting it set up for the second one. The big difference, though, especially starting to load on in. Could be a little bit of chaos, but TJ has not slowed down. 18 and 10 from him. Look how far away 100 Thieves is from this hill. As he continues to push yeah, forward. It's another early garage setup for, 100, or for Optic. Can 100 Thieves find opening? That's going to be three down. Where's I? Look at the spawn oh for Optic. Look how God. far they yeah, spawn they're, out. They're, they're spawning on frequency right now. They've got a high tail. It's so far across the map to try and get back into this. What an early and perfect break from 100 Thieves. It does not get better than that. But how much time can they chain this into? Slasher's going to have out that War Machine. They'll get three down for Optic Gaming, and Priesta will look for a position inside of water. The contest there for oh, Optic Gaming. Oh, well, that, a trophy death is never what you want, but your teammates pick up the rest. That That is a big moment in this, though, because you have early control if you're Optic, and you just get smoked. I mean, and that's what could be, what, a 60-point swing? Yeah, I think what, what we were on board with Scump, he gets caught on the flank, and then, it, you know, it just gets a little bit hectic where TJ's running back from Rock, so... Yeah, a big pivotal moment for 100 Thieves. Plus, Karma uses the slam there. Is able to find one, but 100 Thieves recovered. Now you have a fence set up for Optic. Parista, bottom middle. Does have his slam ready. Here comes the push from 100 Thieves. Nice hold thus far for Optic. Down 20. Kenny wasn't able to get his streaks. Can Slasher get it done? 135 off, and you know you have Krim in the back. Just use an able finish the kill. Perfectly done to get a little bit closer. Dashy's going to call on the Tempest, though, and that's going to be a bit scary for Slasher, who's working on these streaks, and he's trying to work the map from that back position. It's like you're relying on Dashy to maybe miss a shot or reposition. He will reposition the opposite side of Shed. Slasher still going for the streaks as Kenny and Octane will drop. All of his teammates fall. Is Slasher still just trying to find some kind of opening? It's been so difficult to find Shree. It's Scump again! It's Scump again! He's the one that shuts down Kenny. He's the one that shuts down Slasher. No streaks for 100 Thieves. And, and again, it, it's two times where 100 Thieves would probably make a break push, but they don't because uh, those two players, Kenny and Slasher, have to play more patient than they want to. So a couple of big kills by Scump to slow those streaks down. It's still a very small lead for 100 Thieves. Slasher gonna stick Scump. Karma though flies on through. Kenny ready for the push, but Dashy wins the one-on-one. -on -one. This just looks like so many of those Hossi into hard points we've casted for 100 Thieves. It's close, it's close, and then it's not. Are they able to turn it into another gear? Or can Optic Gaming get the victory and push us to a map five? Priest off the top rope. One will come in on the grab slam, but they're lining up in front. There's a team kill for 100 Thieves, but it's still going to be three down for Optic Gaming. Unfortunately for them, one of the remaining players is Dashy, and he gets three in a row. Trying to get close to repeating that performance from the map one. We're still tied. Lead change after lead change. Now the third set of rotations. And the one thing that's maybe stood out the most, it's been early setups from Optic Gaming on Garage both times through. Just one time, they put up 40, 50 points. One time, it's a quick break for 100 Thieves. Here and that might be what defines it. Here we go. This is what 100 Thieves loves to do. They love to get set up on this first one. But Scump, again, it just feels in those pivotal moments when 100 Thieves is about to have a game-changing play. Scump spinning a big one-on-one. -on -one. Karma finds two. Priest is just trying to hang on to rock control, but he's going to get caught. So spawns flip now. Octane with an ICR, still just trying to stay alive. Grim, uh, I think just, I, I, know, I don't know what that was. I think just a little ahead of himself, thought Octane was going to be ready for his position. Once again, 
Opt to get the early rotation over to Garage. Just, but they don't have box control, right? That's the big difference right now. Karma, though, still trying to play from outside water. He wins that second gunfight. I don't know how he's able to pick that up. We hopped off him, and I thought he was dead to rights with Slasher in front, but he gets the kill. Still trying to alleviate that pressure from the back. It's the same pinch. Look at the spawns for Optic. The same pinch works, works again for 100 Thieves and all the kills that they needed go their way. What? what a break. God, what a break it is. Back to back. Garage pushes for 100 Thieves and they get in. And last time we thought it was about a 60 point swing. A chance for a similar result here. What a pitch that is. What a manipulation of the spawns on the map. That was a thing of beauty from 100 Thieves. Yeah, twice in a row. It's so tough to do that against one of the best teams in the world. Usually there's some kill trades and while well, they've hung on to this and they hey, you get these 20 points, they'll be 15 away from taking this series. Opti just trying to contest, trying to not allow this to happen. TJ gonna use the War Machine Crim with a kill of his own. So here we go, we're gonna head defenses, but you see on the bottom side of the minimap, it's all white arrows, all 100 Thieves. Just taking a look at the top, you have the Vision Pulse. He pops it, Abel's gonna use the Vision Pulse now. Yeah, both teams are probably gonna use it here. Yeah, both teams use it. So it's a bit of a counter from both sides. One Thieves still in the hill. It's contested for at least a moment. Two kills for Dashi, 20 points needed for 100 Thieves. Optic have got to be perfect here. They need a massive hold, and Dashi doing everything he can. He'll finally fall to the headshot from Slasher, but it's still contested inside. They're doing a good job making sure 100 Thieves can't rally too many points behind this. Three kills, though, Ordet through. Slasher, 31 and 23. A big game from him. Has not they slowed down. Here. They can win it here. And Slasher's got War Machine. Octane's got Tempest. Priesta has the position. Ten more points needed. Optic's got to get in. War Machine out from Slasher. They can close it here. Can Optic contest it up to get another hard point? I don't know if Slasher, they a chance to get streaks. Can Optic get in? They get in for a second. They contest it, but is it long enough? Just enough to get to another hard point. But 100 Thieves are there on the rotation. And in to the top. Three goes 100 Thieves. Hundred Thieves now 5-0 oh on Hacienda Hardpoint as they lock it down, down the stretch. But wow, what a battle of two juggernaut squads. But for Optic, now You've got to do it the long way, the hard way. You're going to have to win it in two best of fives if you can get back to that grand final. Yeah, it's going to be tough. And I mean, there's still a lot of good teams. I mean, FaZe is still alive. United is still alive in that loser's bracket. For 100 Thieves, their eyes on the grand final. In the winner's final, they're going to go up against Shen Chi. Oh, Nate Shot decided to come to an event. Thanks, buddy. We missed him in London. Just taking a look at the scoreboard. I, I mean, Slasher with 6,000, but Octane again, 6,700. Your London MVP played so well throughout that entire series. And, and I talked about it in game one. Like, yeah, it was a very dominant start for Optic, but you could tell about midway through, things started to click for 100 Thieves. It, it was just a matter of time. And I think after game two, like, we were just so impressed. And I think what stands out so much, talking to Slasher on Hot Mike, he said, we've been a good Game 5 team. Yep. Like, they've won the Game 5s. They just weren't winning Game 2s at all. At all, when you look back to London, they had, what, like, the 40% search to destroy win rate. They just couldn't get it done in Game 2. Here they get the Game 2 victory after a tough loss to the Map 1, and that propels them to get the series victory. 100 Thieves back in the top three, looking for back-to-back. -back. And your MVP from London, we've got him on stage. Here is your PlayStation Instant Reaction. Thank you, Clint. When you faced Optic in London, it was a 3-1. When you faced them previously at the Pro League Cross Division, it was a 3-0. What makes 100 Thieves so strong when you match up against Optic? Uh, I think it's just the intensity. Every time we play them, you know, they're a phenomenal team, arguably, you know, top two team with us. So every time we play them, we know it's going to be a phenomenal series. We got to give it our all to beat them. And uh, that's what produces incredible series like that. Something that I hear 100 Thieves being praised for is your ability to remain calm under pressure. But in a series like that, how much pressure are you really feeling? Uh, a win right there is absolutely huge. It puts us in winner's finals. And if you win winner's finals, essentially you win the tournament. So uh, being them, it's, it's a good feeling. We got momentum going into Sunday, and uh, we're feeling good right now.
Well, finally, as you said, you're headed to the grand finals. So do you have any final thoughts to share as, as we head into tomorrow? Winner's finals, hopefully grand final. Um, you know, if we play our SD like we've been playing the last couple days, we could uh, hit a back to back. Shout out Drake. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. This has been your PlayStation Instant Reaction. Over to Katie at the desk. 100 Thieves have done it to Optic Gaming again. They kicked him out of the winner's bracket in a 3-1 fashion at CWL London. They just did a repeat performance here at CWL Anaheim. Wow, that was a great series. Incredible play inside the likes of TJ, Dashy, really across the board. Everyone looking phenomenal. But Nameless, I want to know, was that everything you hoped it would be from these two teams? That was an amazing series and an amazing final hard point. It was literally tied for the entirety of that map until the very end where 100 Thieves were able to pull away. Slasher really putting a statement there, closing out that map, going big on fences. Mark pointed out in the broadcast, there was, there was only a little bit separating those two teams on that map, and it was the rotations to second hill consistently. Yeah. They would pinch around the around the eighth fences line, and somebody would come through rock. And both times, Optic was failing to hold that setup. That cost them the map. And then obviously, Slasher was able to close out. It's so hard and so important to close out those games. Slasher goes huge in those moments consistently. Study, were there any swing moments or things you saw in this series that made you go? 100 T is probably going to take it. It was definitely that second map s &D. We yep. saw them at London. They won three respawns. Once they were able to pull off that search and destroy, it's going to be pretty hard to beat 100 Thieves in two respawns. In general, they have never lost two hard points since forming this team in a single series. So watching these guys throughout this entire series was beautiful, especially in that s &D, man. The fact that they were able to close out that game two was amazing. All the practice from Pro League definitely showed. I think, I think that if Optic's going to beat 100 Thieves in the series, they have to figure out a way to win a control game. Yeah, they, just, exactly. they just have to do that because had they won that control, even, even with that game four loss, it's going to payload. So as good as 100 Thieves is on the Hossie and the hard point, that's how good Optic is on payload search. They just have to yeah. get there. They have to get to that spot, and they're failing to win that control. Right? Yeah, the veto process, like, it's the right. pick is the game two, so, you know, they win that game two. If it gets to game five, off the game, probably you're going to win that one. And, you know, in that control, Optic Gaming, they came back. They looked like they were going to win, and then 100 Thieves were able to close it out. They started off so hot, hot and had so much utility to use for the remainder of that map. They were finally able to close out in the last And round. you can see it in front of your screen right now. 100 Thieves and Gen G will be going at it in those winners' finals. And one of them point. will be heading to a significantly easier grand final than whoever's coming from the loser's bracket. It's a weird one because 100 Thieves already smoked body bag Gen G yep. earlier in this tournament in group play. So uh, Gen G have looked a little bit better since then. Yep. And they we'll see if they have some more data. Well, they do have some more data. Right. If they do that research going into this rematch. Uh, to be fair, I mean, Optic did beat 100 Thieves last tournament in pool play, just like 100 Thieves did to Gen G. And then 100 Thieves came back in the winner's finals and beat them. So maybe Gen G can use that, that, that veto process and come out stronger against them the second time around. All right, let's talk about our Astro MVP speculation for the day, and we need to look at God RX. Amazing. So well for his team. He went so bonkers good. today. Absolutely Absolute crazy. So and for those of you at home, obviously Dashy's playing amazing. Priest is playing amazing. All these guys are going in. But God RX had a 1.53k AKD, and the second person on that list was a 1.27. Think about that. That's insane. That's how. All right. Unfortunately for them, they lost the match, but this guy did all he could to try to get E6 to that winner's final. I feel bad for him after that. <laughs> he was <laughs> plus 40 in that series. Basically a 2.0 in s and as well. Yeah. Oh my god. He was plus 40 in that series of loss. <laughs> That's tough. Oh my god, indeed. But look at our PlayStation damage dealt. Leaderboard dashy. Probably not that much of a survive sitting on top. He has, what, 49? I'm I pretty sure Dashy is positive in 13 out of the 14 respawns <laughs> that he's played. I think he went negative in that control. Yeah, yeah, that was the only one. It was a control. But he's basically positive 30 on that first map. <laughs> Interesting enough, though. I mean, followed up by Dylan, who reciprocity did get eliminated, but had, had a great day. A hard carry. There. Yeah. Was like a super hard carry. Hard carry. Reciprocity. <laughs> Zed had a yeah. decent couple of matches as well, but Dylan <laughs> set himself apart. Like, he would go on these two-minute tears where he was unkillable. All right, let's look at our loser's bracket. We still got to get through that, and you can see what is going on right if, there. If Optic, Optic you lose whoop. that match, they've been eliminated by the same two teams in back-to-back -back tournaments. Compromised. That'd be That's insane. tough. I know, and realistically, yeah. you could say the same kind of outcome of what happened with London again. But that'll be interesting. Enigma 6 and Face Gun, I feel like, you know, maybe Enigma 6 would potentially steal that away from them. But there you can see it, our schedule. Again, we'll kick things off with the uh, Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel open bracket. Of course, those final seed who comes out, Mazer Gaming, Mind Freak, 
And then when we kick things off, it will be 100 Thieves and Gen G. But that is it for us. Day number two, we are two thirds of the way done with CWL Anaheim. It's bigger and better than ever. We've seen some incredible moments from Looney's 1v5 to LG's coach, Richie, clutching a huge 1v2. But not everyone can make it to Sunday. Envy, Midnight, UIU, EG, Rec, LG, Elevate, and Units have been eliminated. Genji secured their highest open placing yet with a guaranteed top three, and 100T took down Optic one more time. We'll crown our champion Sunday at CWL Anaheim.